Hi everybody, it's Joyce Luck from Black Hair Compass. Does shampoo make your hair lock faster? Yeah, it does, but let's find out why. This is what a natural hair strand looks like in its steady state. The cuticles are laying down and they're smooth. This is what a hair strand looks like after shampoo has been applied to it. All of the cuticles on the hair strand have been raised, which is actually a really good thing when it comes to locks. And the reason for that is because if the hair, if the cuticle um, on the hair strands are raised, they're more likely to attach to one another. And what happens when two hair strands get attached? It becomes a tangle. And what happens when several hair strands get um, attached? It becomes a super knot, which is really good for locks because in essence, locks are nothing more than just really complicated patterns of um, knots. And the more knots you have in your hair, actually the stronger the lock will be. Let's back up. Let's take a look at that hair strand in its normal state. While raised cuticles are really good for the cultivation of locks, they're not necessarily good for the long-term health of that particular hair strand. This is what a hair strand looks like. As we reviewed earlier, this is what a hair strand looks like when it is in its normal state. The cuticles are laying down smoothly and the hair strand is actually in a protected state like this. When the cuticles are lifted, the hair strand is actually in a vulnerable state. And the reason for that is because moisture can exit the hair strand just as easily as it can enter. So what that means is that the hair strand is not actually able to retain moisture. Manufacturers of shampoos actually know that this is what shampoo does to a hair strand and it's for that reason that they sell it with a complementary product. Can you take a guess to what that product is? It's conditioner. And you can probably guess what conditioner does. Just as shampoo raises the hair cuticles, conditioner makes them flat again. And that's what gives you kind of like that slippery feel and it's really easy to detangle because the cuticles are laying flat. So it's actually returning, the conditioner undoes what the shampoo does. It returns it to its normal state. But many lock wearers um, choose to skip conditioners mainly because it has detangling pro um, properties, which is like what we don't want. And it also has um, the potential to cause buildup inside of the lock. So what happens? So let's think about that. What happens when you shampoo your hair and raise the cuticles, but then you decide to skip the next step, which would be conditioner? Well, in short, what happens is the hair cuticle stays in a lifted state and it makes the hair more prone to dryness. So, so in recap, does shampoo make your hair lock faster? Yeah, it does. But my question is at what cost? For many people, that cost will be excessively dry hair. And with excessive dryness, you can end up in a position where your hair is a lot more fragile than it otherwise would be. It could be more brittle. And in extreme cases, it could just lead to a breakage of the locks. My personal opinion is that if you choose to use shampoo and forego conditioner, I still think that your hair has the ability to remain healthy, but only if you give your hair enough time to rebound from what you are doing to it by shampooing it. And then we kind of break that down. So again, like we said, shampoo raises the hair cuticles and conditioner lowers them. And clearly your hair is in a better state when the cuticles are lowered. It's gonna be able to retain moisture and be healthier in the long run. But if you're only gonna use shampoo because you don't want to use a conditioner that might detangle and cause buildup, you have to give your hair some downtime to rebuild back up its own natural oils and to naturally make its own cuticles lay back down. Um, I've heard of some people saying that they wash their hair once a week, two times a week, three times a week, and to me that's, to me that seems excessive. Um, but really the only thing that's gonna determine if that's excessive is the person who has the locks on their head. And the way that they're gonna be able to tell is, does your hair feel dry? Does it feel like hay? Is it really brittle? Is it kinda, when you touch it, does it make a, a crunchy noise? If that's the case, then you probably are overwashing your hair and causing your hair to be unnecessarily dry. And at that point, I think it would be a good idea to consider maybe stretching out um, your your washes. Um, in my mind, I know for me personally, if I were to wash my hair several times a week, that would not be enough time for my hair to rebound from all of the stripping I'm doing to it with the shampoo. Um, I, I would, even before, like as a loose natural, I would only wash my hair once a week, but I was also using conditioner. But now, um, I did try that whole like 
tried to use the shampoo and not use the conditioner and I was actually using a Dr. Bronner soap which is an excellent cleaner but I found that when I was not following it up with a conditioner my hair was not able to rebound. Um, it, it would have rebound after a couple of weeks maybe like two or three weeks it would return to its normal state of like moisture but um, even still that two and three weeks while it was recovering it was extremely dry it was kind of crunchy and I was like this is not working for me so if you guys follow my channel you already know but I've decided to forego not only the conditioner but also the shampoo and just go back to water only rinsing which has been working for me but I know that's not necessarily going to be um, the route that everyone wants to take so my advice would be if you're going to use shampoo but then you're going to forego using conditioner you really need to pay attention to your hair and figure out what is going on because if you you know wash your hair and then you're not experiencing any dryness your oils are able to rebound really quickly then you know maybe this is not an issue for you but if you're someone who is dealing with a lot of dryness and you're not exactly sure where it's coming from then you might want to take a look at you know your shampooing regimen so in recap yeah shampoo will lock your hair faster it absolutely will but at what cost and make sure that that cost is worth it to you but anyways let me know in the comment section below do you guys wash your hair several times a week but don't experience dryness or maybe you're someone who doesn't even wash your hair that often but you only use shampoo and you are still finding that you are experiencing dryness either way let me know in the comment section below what you guys have been finding has been your experiences with washing locking faster and foregoing conditioner but as always thanks for tuning in and until next time